Ultraman tier list. So we got a lot of Ultra Kaijus. So so we got all the Ultraman Kaijus from every Ultraman episode. Yeah, just ignore that. Ignore that too. Anyways, we're gonna start off the first one, Bloomer. It's not perfect. I'm saving up for then. Next is uh, Alien Bolton. Wait. <laughs> nope, I changed my mind. Duh. He's Alien Bolton. I think he's... Wait. Yeah, I think he is the main villain of the Ultraman series. We'll, um, we'll look that up. Oh, sorry, 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 but the... is that what you wait? I don't know. I'm st I'm still going. Next kaiju is um Negaron for nineteen uh nineteen episode three of the old Infinite series. Also, this part this suit is. A Paco suit, and where we get and waiting for Mackie Magma Magler. He kind of looks like Gengaris, to be honest. And then, uh, Garmaron before coming back to Baragon when they're filming the story on monsters. So, yeah, that's a quick history. Also, the, that suit is from Frankenstein Baragon because that Paco suit is. The bear god too. Got it? Yeah. Okay. The uh Ragon. Ragon for this is not Ragon's first appearance. His first appearance came in nineteen and previous in a previous months. I say previous months? Yeah, previous months. Ultra Q. Yeah, Ultra Q. I, I forgot what episode he took, but I guess they had a big suit for him. So they used that suit. I don't, I don't, also, they gave him like Baragon Towards, which also Maggie Wear, Pagos, and and um, Negua have. Yeah. It's, uh, who's next in this? Um. I don't know where we know. Actually, I don't really know this kaiju. I'll just put him next to uh, Barrack Baragon. I almost said Baragon. Then we got shrimp. Shrimp. I'm a fish monster. I'm not a big fan of it. Remember when I, Oh, yeah. I think I'm just going to tell you one trivia question. Go back. Go, let's go back to C. Alright, okay, here is our Ultra Q. Okay, would you, I'll add some Ultra Q monsters. Yeah, okay. I know it's Ultraman. I'm gonna add a couple of Ultra Q monsters. See, this is a uh, Bragon. That is Gonomus. Actually, Gonomus. I can't use him. Anyways, this monster is from um, this monster down here. There's Godzilla. I can't even use my Godzilla monster things anymore. I was going to use them for a previous thing, but now I can't do them anymore. A lot of recall G images. But that's my Godzilla thing. Um, no, this one, so this, uh, this monster has King Kong and Gogeta's Wars. Yeah, I'm not joking. Yes, also has a blue breath like Godzilla. And number four, no, number six. Who's that? Who came in episode six of Ultraman? I mean, episode seven. 
No. Yeah, 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 perfect. Episode 8. Here we go. Red King. I think he's a no Ultraman. Yeah, I think he's a no boss level Ultraman villain. And uh, speaking of which, here's Maggie. So where? So let's go back to. Oops. So that is not Maggie where, but go. Um, this is Maggie where. Tell me, tell me if he looks like Angiris. Cause I'm pretty sure they also use Angiris as spikes. It doesn't sound like Angiris though. Now there's another monster that came in episode 9 of Ultra Man. Oh, so I have these guys. Uh, I'm not. Mm, nah. Nah. Nope. You go. Sorry, that's my fault. Anyways, you go. Big Mars, technically, a uh, Garen Rod. From the ultra cube. He's cute though. Then number nine. Gabora. Gab Gabora. And this might be one of the most popular monsters. But Jurass. He's technically a god. Uh, a, a dinosaur from Jurassic Park and World. World, world mixed with Godzilla. That's exactly what he is. A dinosaur Godzilla hybrid. Nah, now this one I'm not a real big fan of. That being, this guy appeared in, I can't even pronounce his name. This guy appeared in episode 9, and I, didn't, I don't like his, like, he's a cool monster. The only problem I have with him, because sizing, size using kind of a gamerized war. Uh, which Gamer doesn't even know. Gamer doesn't even own by Toho. I thought they only use Toho Wars. But nope, they use, they copy other Monster Wars. Phew, so, alright. And, and also, he has a childish action. He, there's one scene where he's sitting down. I'm not joking. He sits down. He also has these, like, ear things that always spin around, and... So like these like tank wheels that like shoot our lasers, which I think they were used in Godzilla 1985 slash Return of Godzilla. Now we got Mummy Man. Mummy Man. Mummy Man. Mummy Man. Mummy. Mummy. Now it doesn't really look like a mummy, but it is a mummy man. I am not joking. That is a mummy he dies in the episode and it creates a dog. Wow, I just spilled something. Anyways, uh, Sky uh, created. I'm just going to put. It's. Oh, no. So, yeah, I don't know if it sounds. This monster kind of sounds like Mothra. Which Mothra's wars are low down and then Gears' wars. I don't have a problem with low Mothra's wars. They don't even sound like in Gears or low down, but they are. Uh, I don't even know if they sound like in Gears' wars or not. Mm. That's why he sounds like in Gears. No. Number A. Wait, number A. No, A. I didn't even put any countries as D or C yet. But D or E. Sorry, what's that? Mean? Anyways. Oh. Yep. Yep. Nope. 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 They definitely go in E. That is just terrifying. Now, actually, I meant that mean. That is disgusting. I think this is another fish monster. Uh, not a big fan of it. Also, I don't know this monster. Now, where do we get banana? banana one? So, next treasure is 
Yeah, I don't even know what this thing is. <laughs> it's not Vergon prop, and it never will be. I call Vergon a prop. I think that's a Vergon prop. I want to get to Angiris. What did I say, Angiris? Sorry, I meant Benilla. Wait, how many homes there? Yeah, kind of is. Oh, yeah, that's not really Ultraman. That's, uh, I think, Evil Ultraman. I'm pretty sure that's a Baragon prop because it definitely does look like Baragon. It does look like Baragon to be honest. No, I'm going. Who am I going to put in? S? Oh no.